Hi guys, this is code forces round 833 due to and the problem is diverse substrings. So let's jump to straight to the problem and understand. Okay, so uh, this is the problem. So they are telling that uh, they, they will give you a non-empty digit string and uh, it is called as diverse if the number of occurrence of each character in it doesn't exceed the number of distinct characters in it. What does it mean? So number of occurrence of each character means the frequency of each character doesn't exceed the number of distinct characters in it. So programmatically, it should be frequency of characters less than or equal to number of distinct characters. So uh, each character means what? Number of frequency of each character means uh, suppose 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 comes. Those are the frequencies and every frequency should be less than or equal to distinct numbers. So if you want to again convert it further, we can tell that it is the maximum of all frequencies of each character should be less than or equal to number of digits. So this is the first part. Now, for example, string 7 is diverse because 7 appears in it one time and the number of distinct characters in it is 1. So what is the frequency of every character in it 7 is the only one so 1 is there and uh, 1 less than or equal to number of distinct characters is 1 it is diverse 7 7 is not diverse because 7's maximum frequency here is 2 2 is less than or equal to what is the distinct number of characters 1 so this is not diverse so 1 0 1 0 so uh, 1 occurs 2 times 0 occurs 2 times maximum frequency of each character is 2 so 2 is less than or equal to 1, 0, 2 distinct characters, 2. So this is also diverse. Triple six eight is not diverse because what uh, 6 and 8 are uh, number of distinct characters and how much is the maximum frequency. So we take 8 is 1, uh, 8's frequency is 1, 6 frequency is 3. We take the maximum frequency that is 3, 3 less than or equal to 2. This is also not diverse. Now they are telling that you are given a string S of length and consisting of only of digits 0 to 9 how many of its n into n plus 1 substrings are diverse okay so there is a string which is having only 0 to 9 they are telling that to generate all the substrings and out of that all substrings they want to know which of the substrings are following this first rule or not now uh, substring in short substring means a continuous set of characters in a string is called substring okay and why did they give this formula n into n plus 1 by 2 suppose uh, quickly like abc what are the substrings that you can form a b c a b b c a b c so if n is equal to 3 n into n plus 1 by 2 is 3 into 4 by 2 so 6 6 is the total number of substrings 4 5 6 6 is the total number of substrings that's what they specifically mentioned the number now they just explain substring note that if the same string diverse string in s occurs multiple times each occur should be counted independently for example there are two substrings in uh, 7 7 both equal to so they are just telling that uh, okay whatever be the substring you take if the same number comes in multiple different indices you have to count it as separately okay now they also gave an example uh, so let's quickly go through this example so this is a good example that they gave 3 double nine double nine six so how many number of characters are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so if you apply the formula uh, it will be uh, 6 into 7 by 2 so it will be around 21 substrings so we are not going to generate all the substrings so out of the given one let's understand whether uh, our assumption is valid or not so what is 3 here uh, 3 is only one maximum frequency is 1 less than or equal to distinct character is 1 3 9 is also valid just like uh, we saw above so 2 uh, 2 is the number of distinct characters maximum frequency is 1 3 double 9 what is the maximum frequency it comes with 9 2 less than or equal to total number of distinct characters 2 1 1 it is all same they told 4 times right 1 2 3 4 so that's what this statement represents if uh, if the string is of different indices you have to consider it uh, separately then 9 6 just like 3 9 9 9 6 same as 3 9 9 so 9 9 9 6 can't come because the, if triple 9 6 comes 9 occurs 3 times less than or equal to number of distinct characters is 2 3 less than or equal to 2 is false it's not uh, possible so uh, how do we think let's say let's see the constraints first so if you see the constraints first they told that n will be 10 power 5 so uh, on the top of the mind what we'll think is okay let's generate all the substrings and let's apply the rule 
uh, whether the string is diverse or not. If you try to generate, it will be 10 power 5 into 10 power 5 plus 1 by 2. It will be so huge and uh, uh, like it will be more than like 10 power 9 or 10 power 10, right? So that's not possible. First of all, we are not going to generate all the substrings. Now, second thing is they gave that it is guaranteed that all characters of the string S are from 0 to 9. So that is also one uh, small thing that we need to see. Now, we are not going to generate all the substrings, but we need to know whether the substring contains substrings are diverse or not. So since we, gen uh, since we saw all this, it's ideally not possible, right? So let's try to think like, how, how are we able to do it? Now, uh, what is the worst case here? Worst case means all the 10 power 5 should be considered as a string, right? So, can I assume this 10 power 5 can be a diverse substring? I'll note it down here that is maximum uh, frequency of the each character is less than or equal to number of distinct characters okay so in 10 power 5 if we consider it as diverse will it be diverse is possible because number of distinct characters maximum possible is 0 to 9 and how many digits are there 10 digits are there correct so it should be less than or equal to 10 distinct should be less than or equal to 10 and the frequency also frequency of each character should be also less than or equal to 10 so if you consider 10 power 5 if you consider 10 power 5 are there 10 power 5 unique digits that are there? Definitely, there are no unique digits. So, on the worst case, what you will tell is, if there are like 0 to 9, and the frequency of each character can be 10, right? Can be 10 at max. So, there are like, at max, we can get 10 distinct characters. Frequency of each character can be less than 10. So, 0 can come 10 times, 1 can come 10 times, 2 can come 10 times, 3 can come 10 times, up till 9, everything can come 10 times. So this is the maximum size of the string. So what is the maximum size if you do? 100 is the string length. Maximum that can happen. So if any number, if any string exceeds 100, 100 in string length, it is not diverse. So I hope this is clear. Now. Uh, let's take one example that is 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1, 2. Uh, if we, so we assumed that 100 will be the maximum size of the string. They gave 10 power 5. So we take a window, a substring of at max 100 in size. So how do we do that? We take 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. It can go till size 100. Okay. So each of them, if you see here, this is also a substring, this is also a substring, this is also a substring, like that it can go to 100. Now you start from 2, 2, this one, this one, this one, this one. So what is the complexity? Roughly we are estimating it. It will be like 100 times we are uh, doing uh, n, right? So if you are taking like n complexity, n uh, is the number, for each string, you are not taking whole substring instead of n times you are iterating through it you are doing only 100 times now how do we code it uh, so after you uh, take the string right from 1 to, to n ideally you have to keep track of how many distinct characters are there in that window then you have to check from 0 to 9 from 0 to 9 what is the count of each character after doing that it's our responsibility to check whether the frequency of everything we take the maximum frequency and if the maximum frequency is less than or equal distinct that string we consider it as qualified we consider that as valid substring so let's simply try to code it uh, let's write a pseudo code so outer loop will be what for i equal to 0 to i less than n i plus plus so this keeps the starting indices from where the substring should start. So substring should start. Now uh, we need to have a frequency or the count array for 0 to 9. So I keep like, I assign like count of 
0 to 9 initially 0 to 9 everything the count will be 0 0 0 right yeah now uh, we first before we iterate for that particular window we say that distinct and the maximum frequency maximum count or the frequency should be 0 when we start iterating we need to know from which indice we need to start for that we are using j what should be here it should be the window right that is what i plus 100 we already proved that the maximum size could be 100 only because for 10 power 5 we don't have 10 power 5 unique digits only 10 unique digits are there if a condition need to satisfy only 10 unique digits means the frequency of each character should be at max 10 so if frequency of each character if every character comes and each frequency is 10 then the total number can be at max 100 is the string length so that's why we are taking that window if i equal to 2 means 2 plus 100 that is 102 or the end of the string now you take j plus plus all right now uh, after doing this you need to do you have to check whether if the count of that string if the count of that string is zero or not that means that string is not yet visited we say that we are incrementing the distinct count okay now after doing this we simply have to increment the map or the count like whatever we just need to increment the count we are tracking how many distinct numbers are there and what is the frequency so once you get the frequency you iterate through k equal to 0 to 9 so from 0 to 9 what is each of its count from this we get the max count and uh, if the max count the frequency of this is less than or equal to distinct we got here right it will be a valid substring so again what did we do here so we took all the string here from i equal to 0 to i equal to n then we took a count array which will keep track of the number of times a digit have occurred in a string in that substring and distinct represents the number of distinct characters and max count represents what is the maximum frequency of that character and j equal to i means we are getting track of the window that is still 100 or something and uh, if count uh, s of i equal to 0 means we are getting the distinct count here and uh, total number of frequency and for each of the character from 0 to 9 we take each number and try to uh, find the maximum frequency of it once you find the maximum frequency you just apply the diverse rule that is if max count is less than or equal to distinct so i hope like this might be unclear but let's try to solve it with an example of my code okay so uh, this is the first number that is let's say three double nine double nine six now let's iterate through it for i equal to zero i less than an i plus plus i equal to zero that is at three what is the count count is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it is a vector where everything is 0 now for j equal to i j less than minimum of i plus 100 or n so j will be 3 alone count of distinct is what so we take distinct it is 1 and count of 3 plus plus that is 1 now if k equal to 0 to 9 it iterates through it what is the maximum frequency that is 1 and uh, what is the maximum count is less than or equal to distinct that is one less than or equal to one so valid substring this is valid okay now let's take j equal to i j less than j plus plus so now it will be nine comes here now nine goes count of distinct again it becomes two because uh, nine is zero here right now count of s this also becomes one now count of zero to nine will be the max count what is the max count here it is one it is the frequency of the maximum number so one is less than or equal to two again so this is also a valid substring okay now again three double nine comes it takes that uh, whether it's a distinct number or not nine is not zero here so it goes count of this plus plus okay now two less than or equal to two right that is uh, we take the maximum count that is two here 2 is less than or equal to 2 yes 2 is less than or equal to 2 so you take 399 9. now you take 3999 9, 9, 9. okay so once it does 9 will become 3 
3 is less than or equal to 2, it's false. So same will apply for everything. Now we have, don't have to take other things. Now uh, i becomes what? i becomes again 1. If i becomes 1, this will be cleared again because it's a entirely a new set of substring. So uh, for 9 it comes here and 9 is 0. So distinct was uh, again 9 becomes 1, distinct will be 1, maximum frequency is 1, 1 is less than or equal to 1, 9 is also valid. Now again 9, 9 comes, so 9, 9 means uh, 9 is not distinct, so distinct is also 1, 9's frequency becomes 2 by count of S of J plus plus 2 is less than or equal to 1, false. So same will apply for everything on that substring 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 6. So that's done and uh, let's take one more example. So if you go like uh, this character, it will be also be 9 only here and this character also will be 9. So since this is a peculiar case, we take this one. This is 9, right? We take 1. So till this we have uh, finished, okay? We, if i becomes 0, 1, 2, 3, if i is 3 here, this character will come, 9 will become 1, distinct will become 1. So 1 is less than or equal to 1, that is valid. Now 9, 9 comes, that is j becomes 4, uh, j was initially 3, now j becomes 4, now it checks whether count of 9 is 0 or not, count of 9 is not 0, but count of 9 increments, that is 2, 2 is less than or equal to 1, it is false, so this 9, 9 is not qualified, now j again goes, j less than 5, so j becomes 5 and 9, 9, 6 will happen, now if 6 is distinct or not, it checks, count of this is 0, count of 6 is 0 or not, Yes, then it increments. So distinct becomes 2. Count of 6 will be incremented to 1. Okay, what is the maximum character length? That is maximum frequency is 2. That means each character will be at max 2. 2 is less than or equal to 2. It is possible. So it is 996. Now uh, this have been completed. Now it goes here. Now once it goes here, it does the same issue and it does the same. Like, then it iterates. It goes 96. Then we get the value. Okay, so uh, it's a bit tricky. So once you try to find out, you will get the answer. So here, if you see, we got like three, three, nine, three, double nine, six alone can come. Nine appears four times, nine, six and nine, nine, six. So just try to work out in a pen or paper. Then once you work out for multiple examples, you'll get the idea like why did we do certain things? So that's it, guys. Thank you.